Um, I don't know. You know, he, um, he he's doing better. He's doing better. <clears throat> you know, the, the good thing is the bye week, you know, we've got three of these offenses in a row. You know, Arizona State, New Mexico State, and Fresno are all the same kind of offenses to a degree. Uh, so I think that, that helps us just a little bit defensively, you know, that we, we, uh, you know, we can use this tape as a tremendous learning, learning We had some big, we had some big third down conversions, you know, throwing the football, and uh, you know he can throw. I mean, he, he's he's a, he's a dual threat guy, without any doubt. Is it fair to say that uh, Lamar's your number two, number two quarterback? Right now, yeah. Um, uh, you know, because of all the things that we've seen. Um, so yeah, it's fair to say right now he is. How much did AC's tempo have to do with the defensive miscues or do it matter? Their, their tempo was fast, but it wasn't anything. Uh, I don't know that there was a time in the game that we were late getting lined up, didn't get the signal. In. That, that, that's what's so frustrating, you know, that things happen. Um, but, I mean, they're a good team. I mean, number eight is a heck of a back. The quarterback is really good player. You know, they averaged 40 points a game the last two years in the Pac-12. Um, we know what they are. But um, um, I just know we could have and should have. Yeah, well, there were there was periods there when we had them back on their heels, you know, that we felt we were dictating the tempo of the game. And uh, um, you know, like I said at halftime, I honestly thought we were going to come back and win that game. But then when you give up a you know minute and fifty two drive, seventy five yards for a touchdown, you know, right off the bat, you know, it's been the same thing. It's been the same same thing. We did get a turnover. We did get a turnover. And did you see what that did? for the momentum of our team, the momentum of our crowd. Uh, you know, we're all starved. You know, we're all starved to see us play better defense. And um, <laughs> somehow we're going to get it done. We are going to get that done here. Because we got too much potential. Man. We, got, we got too much potential in this program. And we can turn the corner. We just have to get it done. What happened to Jimmy Carson? Uh, Kimmy had uh, uh, some, I, I don't want to say, I think it was some concussion symptoms. You know, and uh, uh, he, he didn't play the second half. What can be done to prevent the slow starts? Tackle. You know, I mean, Joanne, my wife, I, she's, she's been around a lot of football, and sometimes, you know, the simplest things hit you. You know, she was driving me to the Sheraton this morning, and she said, why can't we tackle? <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth, you know. I mean, uh, it's the truth. we, we got to tackle. You know, the quarterback, the first 52 yard scramble, I think he missed a tackle up in the hole up there, Dakota. You know, we got to tackle. I mean, it's not, it's not that complicated. But we are not that far off. We are not that far off. I really, I really believe that. You know, if we can, if we can just execute and get a little bit of confidence going on defense, we got confidence on offense. We really do. We need some confidence, but we have to execute to get confidence. I don't care how hard. On their last touchdown pass, uh, I mean, it looked like Dakota was trying to cover a wide receiver. Uh, you know what? It was a great call by them. You know, we, we do a lot of strong safety fire from the field, and um, they had that, that they, they checked to that, and, and they got the strong safety fire blocked. They turned the protection that way, and they ran kind of a cross country route, really like UTEP ran, and we were in a zone blitz, a zone fire, and that's, it was a zone, it was zone coverage, but he had to carry him all the way across the field. That was a great call. They executed that thing, and then today I coached us on that. That was a great call. Uh, Daniel Henry, did he? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, he got hurt there late in the game. Um, we'll have to see. I do think Cranston Jones will be back. You know, the CT scan came back. There was no crack in his elbow. I do think Carlos Wiggins has a good chance to be back, and hopefully Cole's back. Okay, guys.